apart from the default functionality WordPress offers, there's always, always something more you can add. And in this video, we'll look at WordPress widgets that do exactly that. So without further ado, let me tell you what WordPress widgets are. As I touched on this a little before, WordPress widgets are small blocks of content that allow adding additional things to your site, like Instagram feed, calendar, many more. And you don't need to touch a line of code to do that. Let me show you. You can find the widgets that are available to you when you go to your WordPress admin panel, then to appearance and widgets. And here we go. The first thing to know is that every theme has predefined widget areas that are meant for adding widgets, but they differ across themes. So this is where you can see which widget areas are available for your theme. At the moment, I have the 2019 theme uh, activated. So as you can see, it's only the footer where it allows you to add widgets. But if we activate the Visual Composer Starter theme and go back to widgets here. You can see that the areas are sidebar and menu. So these are the places where we can add any widgets. So when you haven't added any widgets to these areas, they appear empty, like in this blog right here. As you can see, there's just an empty space that is asking for some content. So let's give it to that space and let's go back to widgets. So here on the right, as you remember, we see the widget areas and on the left, these are all the widgets that are available at the moment. All right, so let's add some widgets to the blog post I showed you before. In this particular case, it would be cool to add search bar, for example, uh, the author information, and let's say a gallery for some recent trips. So let's do that. Let's start with the search bar. So to add a widget, find it in the list here and either click on it and choose an area and click on add widget, or you can simply drag it to the area and give it a title. So search, for example, save and it's added. Let's open the page, click on refresh. And here's our search bar. All right, now let's add a text widget. That's going to be about me and I'm going to paste some text here, click save and the gallery that I talked about before. Let's drag it here. Uh, let's call it recent trips and quickly add some images, create a new gallery and save. All right, let's take a look at the page and all that done with widgets. Of course, you can fill it up as much as you wish and with whatever you want. All right, now that we've got this part down, let me tell you a bit more about some free WordPress widgets that you can use. The widgets that we saw before are the WordPress default widgets, but there are many more on the market that are free and ready for you to use on your website. But a thing to understand is that widgets hide under plugins. And what I mean by that is that you'll have to download a plugin that has the widget functionality. Let me show you what I mean exactly. So to get a widget, we'll have to go to plugins, add new and search for the functionality we want. Social icons, for example, and install and activate. All right, now that it has popped up here in our uh, left side menu, let's open it up. And this particular plugin gives us the option to choose where we want it to be displayed. So let's choose the option, show them via a widget. And save. All right, now let's move back to appearance and widgets. And as you can see, it has appeared here at the bottom. And now the process is the same. Simply drag it. Let's put it here right at the top. 
and you can of course adjust the text as ever you want and save. Let's refresh the page, let's take a look. And here it is, that simple. Some widgets can be added through a short code, like this Instagram feed plugin here. So here's the short code. Let's copy it and go back to widgets. What you would do in this case is add a text plugin and simply paste the short code and refresh. And here's our Instagram feed. If you want more examples of some free WordPress widgets, you can take a look at our blog post because we've collected a bunch for all sorts of situations here. If you're using Visual Composer, you can add widgets straight from the front-end editor. So let's open the element library, search for widget. So the WordPress default widget elements will allow you to use any of the WordPress default widgets, obviously. As you can see, if we add to the page, we can add a calendar, search bar, recent posts, any of the default ones. But the WordPress custom widget element will allow you to add any third-party widgets that you've downloaded, like the social media icon widget that I showed you before. Best thing about adding widgets straight from the Visual Composer editor is that you can add them anywhere in the page. They don't have to be in the widgetized area only, like the search bar, for example. Before we could add it only at the sidebar here, but now it can go straight in the middle here. Or of course, wherever you want. All right, now you know how to give some extra functionality to your page, so use it wisely. And thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.